One of the biggest hurdles that somebody who is dealing with pornography addiction or sex addiction or any other form of addiction has to overcome is the idea that freedom is a long way off. That what is going to take for them to actually find freedom is that they're going to have to change everything about who they are, everything about their life in order to be able to find freedom. And that's a difficult proposition because it'll never happen. It's no different than me standing here next to this dumpster. See right here when I'm standing here next to this dumpster, I'm this far away. That's it. And it doesn't take much of a, of a thought process for me to turn around and look at this and think, oh, I can move it from here to there. It's that close. I can see all the detail. It doesn't take much for me to go, look, I can go over and I can touch this dumpster. In fact, I'll go over and do it right now. No problem. But when I'm standing here thinking, oh, I got to do this, and the thing that I'm thinking is there is actually over there. For instance, if this is actually where freedom is, but I think it's that tree across the way. Well, okay, I could make it there, but it'll take a little bit more work. Now, what if my thought process is it's the roof of the house a little bit further past the tree? Oh no, now my thought process is way off. What if it's the mountains on the other side of town that I can't even see right now that have all the antennas? Okay, now that's gonna be a super, super long trip. And then what's past those mountains? Maybe it's in Yuma, Arizona, and we gotta walk a long way. And you see, every time I think that it's that far, I don't even know the difference between here and there. I don't know what the distance is. I don't know how much it's gonna take. And so then when I start to prepare myself for this journey, here I'm standing in my spot of addiction. Here I'm standing, it's kinda cushy, it's kinda nice, like I at least know where the boundaries are. Even if I don't wanna be here, I at least know where the boundaries are, and I'm looking toward freedom thinking I would like to be there, but it's so dang far away. Like how on earth am I gonna make that trip? And so I get myself ready for it and I think, oh, you know what, before I do this trip, what, uh, I need a rest first, I need to take a nap uh, so that I'm well rested. Oh, I should probably pack my bag and get stuff inside it. No, no, I need to get some provisions. I should probably call a friend and have my friend come with me. And you know what, I've heard that there's wild animals on the trip. I should probably learn how to hunt first. Yeah, that's what I should do. I'm gonna go look up hunting lessons. I'm gonna get involved in that. Then I gotta buy a nice bow and you know, sometimes, Hunting with a bow and arrow is kind of hard, so I should probably also learn, take some shooting lessons. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's going to be out in the wilderness, and there's rattlesnakes and other types of things. I should probably take some wilderness survival courses. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to save up for those, so I better work an extra job in order to do that. And all of this activity is happening while I'm still standing here, still in this place of addiction, still in this place where I, it's cushy, I know the boundaries, but I'm stuck. And you, and I, and everybody who was stuck inside of addiction is operating that way, is doing all of these things, is going to all of these programs because we believe that it, freedom is that far away. And so we're making the preparations for the journey. I'm here to tell you that the, one of the biggest hurdles that you have to overcome when you are trying to overcome addiction is the hurdle of belief that it's that far away. I'm telling you here now, it's right there that between you and freedom is nothing more than a couple of steps. And what I've done in my program is design a series of experiences to open you up so that that awareness can show up, so that you can feel it, because you know that in the past, despite all of the efforts that you've done, you've always felt like it's right there, like there's just one thing you have to do. It's like right in front of you, why can't you grasp it? You know in your heart that it's right there, but everyone has told you it's that far away. And so you've built up all kinds of stuff around yourself, thinking that you're preparing for a journey that doesn't exist. It's right here. And what happens when you take that leap? Here it comes. You come over here. You finally make the leap to freedom. And guess what? This is a dumpster. It kind of stinks. Here in this place, there's everybody else's trash. And guess what? Your wife may not believe that you're actually free of it. And so you're sitting here like, look, I've already made the leap. I'm free. I can tell I'm free. I'm out of the boundaries. I've, I've crossed the line, I'm here. And yet, whoo, there's a gust of wind. And on top of that, like your wife doesn't believe you or your friends are sitting here trying to say, no, no, we don't believe that you're free. And it kind of stinks right here. And so, so many men make this leap and then they turn around and they come back. They come back because this is a safe place. It's nice and soft, it gets watered every day and there's boundaries here in place. And even though I'm not moving where I want to in my life, at least it's comfortable. But I'm telling you, the leap is this far. You can find freedom. And then, if you have direction and purpose, and keep walking, you keep walking. And all of a sudden you find, hey, you know, the ground isn't hard over here, it's just as soft. 
And I can see now. I couldn't see before. All I could see was that dumpster and the housing behind it. But now, look, there's options, there's roads, there's opportunities in my life that I didn't have before. But I have to keep walking past the leap. I have to set up a direction in my life, a, a way to keep going. And I couldn't do that when I was standing over there. Not at all. Freedom is right here in front of you. Freedom is only a step or two away. What it takes to make that leap may take a little bit of build up. It may take a few experiences, a little bit of intensity to get you to the point where you can make that leap, where you can encounter the stink on the other side. There's freedom, but there's also a little bit of stink because of what's left behind, because of what other people believe about you. They still believe that you're there. But if you keep walking and you get over to this place and you look around, suddenly the possibilities and opportunities of your life are huge. Possibilities and opportunities that you didn't have before simply because you were standing in the place of addiction and because you believed that freedom was still thousands of miles away. I've only taken a few steps, brother. Only a few steps from where I was to here. I'm not much different than you. The only difference is that I took the leap and I took a few extra steps. And I'm here to show you and guide you on the path to take you through those steps so that you too can experience the kind of freedom and sobriety as if pornography addiction, sex addiction, never existed in your life at all. I look back on my life now and I'm just absolutely amazed at what, at, at how I feel. It doesn't bother me. There is nothing about my life that in any way, shape or form reminds me that somehow I was a slave to this, except memory. You too can have that freedom. You too can walk knowing that it's non-existent for you. And now you're free to use all that energy that you were using to try and hold yourself in place so that you didn't go over an edge. And you can use it to take advantage of the opportunities that you see in front of you. Maybe you get in a car and you drive a long way. Maybe you're just content camping here. Either way, freedom is just a few steps away. And if you're willing, and if you're the type of man who can handle that kind of experience, because it's intense, and is, has the courage to look deeply inside to the kind of inner journey that, that is necessary, then hop in the car, brother. We're gonna take a few steps, and you and I are gonna go on a journey that will f help you see possibilities that you never had before in your life.